See, he told me I had the ability to make him feel like a king. That when life hands him a little bit too much bullshit, he knows he can come to me for company. You see, ladies, I've learned how to pick my battles. I'm beginning to comprehend the meaning of silence being gold and see I've chosen to be a little less dominant in his presence ever since he started showing me what a real man is supposed to be. See, honestly, since the age of 13, I've always been told that a man should be a want and not a need, so forgive me. Because as a woman, as a woman, sometimes I tend to stumble because dominancy and femininity is a balancing act I haven't quite conquered yet. But I'm trying, though. And forgive me if I choke, but sometimes submissiveness isn't a word I can swallow. I think somewhere in between my mama and her three girls' kitchen table talk, some things got lost. In between, make your own goddamn money and don't ever let a man question your values. She left out what to do to keep a good man who loves you. Now, don't get me wrong, she taught me a few things as I got older, but the strong woman she raised is having an internal battle between her values, her mind, and her heart. See, we are all creatures of habit. So sometimes the words fuck you will come flying out my mouth quicker than I can grab it because it wasn't too long ago when I was quick to let a nigga have it because, well, I have low tolerance for bullshit. And I still do. And you know, he knows that. And these walls, these emotional walls I had built up, shit, he flew clean over that on some Superman type shit and made me on the other side, made me close my mouth and open my eyes. See, I think too often as women, our words act as our weapons. Too busy stressing over irrelevant bullshit, blaming men instead of concentrating on our own flaws, getting lost in our independent mentality that we fail to see the king in our current or future mate. It's no wonder our covers the only thing keeping us warm at night. And it's all right, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that single life, but don't be stupid. Because a beautiful woman with a closed mind is useless. And a grown-ass woman who thinks she knows it all is really clueless. Yeah, I'm only 28 and I haven't quite figured it all out yet, but the sad thing is... I'm close to women twice my age because I know everything isn't one-sided. Tell me something. Who decided it was okay to stop letting a man be a man, emasculating him and making him feel less than the king he truly is? If he is good to you, then why not be good to him? Nine times out of ten, the reward is much greater when you compromise. Maybe you should close your mouth and open your eyes. Support him. Listen to him. And do not fuck with his pride. He needs that the most. And I don't know, you know, maybe these words will fall on deaf ears. But for the open-minded women in relationships, I hope this brings y'all closer. And for those of you who are mad in my honesty, well, you could just be another bit of bitch with a chip on your shoulder. Poetically yours. Thank you so much for everybody who shared my video. Uh, Lost Queen, I am just over the moon, happy about all the views and shares and comments, all the positivity. I really, really appreciate it. And welcome to everybody who uh, liked my page. I'll be happy to share more poetry with you. I'm currently experiencing a lot of writer's block, so all the pieces that you are hearing are old pieces. But for those of you who heard this before, if you are a fan of my work, then you'll mind hearing it another time. And for those of you who are new, then it's the first time you're hearing it. So I hope you love it. Feel free to do the same thing with this video that you did with the last. And stay tuned. There's more.